hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have square root of c is equals to minus c and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so uh, please watch this video at the end further i can solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method here first here uh, in the first method i cannot uh, use the scaring technique on both of the sides okay so here i can uh, use a very unique method i hope so you like this method now we move this minus c to the left hand side uh, and it will be written as square root of c this is the negative term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes positive and this is equals to zero so here uh, you know about that if we have a only uh, so we write this a as uh, square root of a and its whole square it means that uh, we can apply square root and square at the same time on this a so we write in this form Further, uh, we write this square as square root of a multiplied by square root of a. Okay, so uh, according to this rule, uh, we write our this c as in the form of square root of c into square root of c. So we get here, this is the square root of c, and we write this term as square root of c multiplied by square root of c is equals to zero so here you see that both of these terms involve a square root of c so that we easily take common c from here when you will take common c from here we get one plus when you take common c from here we get square root of c is equals to zero and now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write square root of c is equals to zero and the second case is we write one plus square root of c is equals to zero and now here further in the next step we need to apply a scaring on both of the sides of this term so you get here square root of c and its whole square is equals to zero from here we move this plus one to the right hand side and we get here minus one okay so this two and this square root are gone and we will get here c is equals to zero this is the first root and from here we again take scaling on this term and from here we get the value of c is equals to the square of minus 1 becomes plus 1 so in the first method we get uh, these are the two roots of the given equation uh, and now here in the next steps we need to verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here it is square root of c is equals to minus c and in this side we will be verify c is equals to 0 in this side we will be verify c is equals to plus 1 okay so here uh, now first we focus on this root so we put this value on both of the sides and we will check the behavior of this equation and we obtain a square root of 0 is equals to minus times of 0 and you know about that 0 square root becomes 0 and 0 is neutral term it is not negative or not positive okay so this is zero so this means that the value of c is equals to zero is satisfied our given question statement this means that c is equals to zero be the one solution of the given equation and now here in the next step we need to verify the second root of the given equation so from here we put this value into the given question statement it will be written as square root of one is equals to minus one and uh, here you know that uh, square root of 1 is equal to 1 equals minus 1 and you clearly see that 1 is not equals to minus 1 it is not possible in general uh, this is not hold uh, 1 is equals to minus 1 okay this is not possible case uh, so this means that the value of uh, c is equals to minus 1 is not satisfied our given question statement so uh, it means that uh, our conclusion about c is equals to 1 is that uh, c is equals to 1 be the extraneous root of the given equation and here i can explain uh, the term extraneous root 
so the roots uh, which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous roots and the roots uh, which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of that equation and like in this question we have c is equals to 0 be the solution of the given equation and c is equals to 1 be the extraneous root okay this is our first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method uh, so in the second method uh, we first need to copy down a uh, given question statement here so the given question statement is square root of c is equals to minus c this is the our given question statement so here in the second method i can just give you a nice technique in which you can easily find the value of c in another method so in this method i can just use the uh, squaring technique and we directly apply the square root uh, we directly apply the square on both of the sides of this equation so when you apply the square it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here c and the square of minus c is equals to c square so here we need to move the c to the right hand side and it will be written as c square this is positive term when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative and you see here both of these terms involve c so we take common c from here when you will take common c from here we get this is c minus 1 is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c is equals to 0 and the second case is we write c minus 1 is equals to 0 this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we need to move this minus 1 to the right hand side it will becomes positive uh, so we have this is the c is equals to 1 so again we get in the second method we get the same root of the given equation but now we check that uh, our uh, solution set is that only zero okay so this root be the solution but this is the extraneous root we will be verify it both of these roots into the first method so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos